um, I guess you got the prime spot out there. I'm here on the desk, but we're going to check back in with the spacecraft. It's going on with eyes on the solar system and new horizons and see where it is in its activity. Hundreds of observations at this point, the close approach, as we get closer to Pluto, four minutes away, a little more than four and a half minutes away from flying by Pluto. Looking at the observations here, target right between the Pluto, uh, the, they call it the Pluto Barrier Center. This is the spot of gravity between Pluto and its largest moon, Charon. Follow this online, eyes.nasa.gov. Um, you know, this truly is a historic moment. The fastest spacecraft ever to leave Earth, about to complete the farthest voyage to reach its primary target, right now making the first exploration of Pluto and its family of moons, opening the door to an entirely new region that we've only just begun to understand. Uh, we can check back in, too, on mission operations and see again with the activity or lack of activity. We'll point out again this is going to be the place to watch later on tonight as we anticipate the signal coming back from New Horizons. Again, you see here there's no activity. The spacecraft is on its own, going through all of its activity programmed into its computers. Tonight we expect New Horizons to check back in around 9 o'clock Eastern time, check back in with a signal that would indicate that it's healthy, and that it did everything it was programmed and supposed to do. Um, we're going to check back in with Dwayne outside at Countdown Central. Dwayne, back to you. Mike, we are about three minutes away right now. The head of planetary science at NASA, Jim Green, is addressing the audience. Uh, I got to tell you, um, if you may not, I'm going to hold this up here. Everyone has an American flag. And when we have that countdown, you're going to see something really, really special. Uh, again, the excitement is infectious. I hope that uh, you get one of these flags because I'm really lucky to have this. And uh, I'm going to take it back to you, but uh, we're getting close. Really fun out here. Okay, in fact, I'm going to go back over to, uh, to Jason Townsend with NASA Social. Jason, uh, checking the, the trending out there and what's happening. What do we got? Indeed, there's a lot of love for uh, the sneak peek on Instagram right now of the image that's out there. Uh, we're also uh, going to get ready here at 8 a.m. and uh, release uh, the image everywhere and put it out uh, and talk all about the science behind it. So uh, leading up here, though, to these next couple of minutes here with the um, flyby, people are definitely talking about it. We're still trending with Pluto Flyby on Twitter and Facebook and uh, getting involved in the conversation. Join us. Indeed, continue to follow along. We're live on NASA TV, which you can follow at www.nasa.gov. Keep looking for news at www.nasa.gov slash New Horizons and following along on at NASA New Horizons on Twitter, hashtag Pluto Flyby. Um, I think we're going to be ready to join the countdown soon out at uh, Countdown Central with Dwayne Brown. Uh, Dwayne, activity out there? How's it looking? Well, Mike... It's getting close here. Uh, Alan Stern, the principal investigator of the mission, has called everybody to the stage. We've had speeches. We've had remarks. We, we've had the son and daughter of the, the man who discovered Pluto in 1930. And we're getting there. We're uh, a little over a minute out here at Countdown Central. I just, again, the excitement. And the whole world is watching this. All of the media social media it's it's just amazing museums everybody everybody is a part of history history and science and exploration taking place right here in lower maryland at the johns hopkins applied physics laboratory ladies and gentlemen we're getting close it's 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 almost there again what you're going to see you're going to see Thousands, probably more than a thousand people are crowded in this room. They're going to have American flags. They're gathering. They're hugging. Some. It's about America. We're getting ready to make history. Let's take it and see history in the making.
show here real quick. Dog runs around. I need yep, right now. You can see the atmosphere in the room, too, because people, they were waving flags, get started. New Horizon spacecraft passes its close approach mark at Pluto after a three billion mile journey. Nine and a half years, launched in January 2006, flew by Jupiter 2007. Record speed across the solar system, crossing planetary orbits faster than any other spacecraft had reached them. Speeds of 30,000 miles an hour. Almost hard to think of, hard to imagine. Still after nine and a half years, now made it first on Pluto's doorstep, now past Pluto, gathering amazing amounts of information opening the door to an entirely new region of the solar system that, until recently, we knew nothing about. This is exploration at its finest. Check it out. Look how busy New Horizons still scanning away. Doesn't realize it just made history. Doing it right now. Go back to the room and see, see the folks on stage. That's the director of the Applied Physics Laboratory, Ralph Semmel. Mission uh, officials saw Alan Stern, principal investigator. The Tom Baws. Okay, let's go back out to Dwayne Brown. Mike, America's space program has written a new chapter in science and exploration. History has been made, and standing next to me is one of those key individuals that has made that history happen. This is Dr. John Grunsfeld, and if you don't know him, I'm shocked because everyone knows him. Five-time like like space shuttle flown everybody. astronaut, also known as the Hubble ago. Repairman, but he is the director of NASA's Science Mission Directorate, and New Horizons is one of almost 100 missions in the Science Mission Directorate. Dr. Grunsfeld, how does it feel, history in science? Oh, it's just amazing. This is truly a hallmark in human history. What does it take to have a mission go billions of miles, take over nine years, lots of moving pieces? What's the secret to success like this? Well, people often think that the success to missions like this is, you know, the engineers, the hardware, the mission itself, this but the real key the is the teamwork, and that's what NASA like excels at, is bringing teams of scientists, engineers, technicians from industry, academia, from government together to do these incredible feats. There you go. Like we've just done with New Horizons. One last question. Okay, yeah. so we, we made history today, but there's something that the, 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 the story's not over. There's something that has to happen this evening. What, describe that, that moment that's coming up this evening. Of course, we are celebrating the moment by which the New Horizons spacecraft had its closest approach to Pluto. As it's taking all the incredible data, but we're not talking to the spacecraft. It's doing its job. Tonight, we're going to get the signal, the ping, that it made it through the system, and it's ready to start sending us the treasure trove of data. Congratulations, Dr. Ron Thank you. Oh, my goodness. I'm, I'm just having all the special guests here. Hey, Dwayne. This is Dr. Alan Stern, the principal investigator, the scientist, the main scientist on this mission. History had been made, Dr. Stern. It's got to feel good. It feels good. You know, so many people put so much work into this around the country. Engineers and scientists, yeah. technicians, business people, people like yourself in communications. Uh, it's a moment of celebration because we've just done the anchor leg. We have completed the initial reconnaissance of the solar system. Uh, an endeavor started under President Kennedy more than 50 years ago, continuing to today under President Obama. It's really historic what the United States has done. And the New Horizons team is really proud to have been able to run that anchor leg and make this accomplishment. Well, Dr. Stern, before you go, and we have to transition, I know we've got another event coming up. Dr. Brunsfeld talked about, you know, the story is not over. We've got something that really is going to be special this evening. Give me your thoughts on what's going to transpire later on today. Right. Well, the spacecraft is currently doing its job taking measurements in the Pluto system at a very rapid pace. And uh, we are going to have it check back in with us about 9 p.m. Eastern time tonight. And that's when we'll find out if it completed its job successfully. Dr. Stern, congratulations. And I'll see you this evening. Thank you, Dwayne. So, Mike, head down at Countdown Central, where you heard Dr. Grunsfeld, you heard Dr. Stern, and others. America's Space Program has written a new chapter in space and exploration. Back to you. Uh, th thanks, Dwayne. Wow, the atmosphere. You know, Pluto is no longer the unexplored world. And as one countdown ends, another begins. As you've heard, we wait for New Horizons to phone home tonight and let us know that all went well. So stay tuned to NASA TV for our next media briefing. 
and we'll get an update and our look at some of the last images that New Horizons took of Pluto before going into the flyby. So, I'm Mike Buckley. For Dwayne Brown and the New Horizons team, thanks for watching.